so finally we have some good news. Canva has made all Affinity products completely free. If you don't already know, Affinity is an amazing suite of design and photo editing tools. Basically everything you need in one app. It's honestly one of the best alternatives to Adobe Photoshop. And the best part is that the interface is fully customizable. You can tweak it exactly the way you like. All right, let's see how you can grab this awesome app for free. First, head over to Google and search for Affinity. Click on the new official website, affinity.studio. I've also dropped a link in the description box below. Once you're on the site, you'll see their tagline right away, creative freedom that's actually free. And yes, it really is. You get all the design and photo editing tools you need completely free. Now click on the sign up to download button powered by Canva. You'll need a Canva account for this. So just sign in with your existing one or create a new Canva account if you don't have one yet. I already have a Canva account, so I'll just enter my email address and verify it. After that, you'll be taken to the download page for Mac OS and Windows. Since I'm using Windows, I'll go with the Windows installer. Download the .exe file. It's about 600 megabytes, so it might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once it's done, run the setup file and install Affinity, just like any other app. Next, you'll need to log in or sign up with your Canva account to continue the setup process. Just complete the login process in your browser and it'll automatically sign you in to the Affinity app. And that's it. You're all set up and ready to go. This is what the Affinity home screen looks like. Clean, modern, and really powerful. I love that it combines both vector and pixel editing in a single interface. Just a quick note, if you want to use Canva's generative AI features inside Affinity, you'll need a Canva Pro or Team subscription. And that's how you can get the brand new Affinity app for free on your Windows PC. Subscribe for more tech news like this. Thanks for watching and see you soon.